guys, Don from Loctote here. I'm going to show you how to use your Loctote flax sack. First step is to cinch the bag closed. It's actually difficult to pull out the lock strap if your bag isn't cinched, so we always cinch first. Next, remove the lock and the lock strap. When you get your bag, your lock will be set to all zeros, zero, zero, zero. And if you need help in changing that combination, there's a section in the user guide that explains it, and we also have a video to show you how to do it. Once your bag is cinched, pull the lock strap until you see the metal grommets. There's one, there's the other. When the bag is new, the grommets may be difficult to get out. You may have to tug each side individually, this one and this one, to get it. Don't worry, it'll loosen up over time, and they're in there. To lock your bag, simply take your lock, put it through both metal grommets, make sure your lock is on the combination that opened it to lock it, and then turn one or more of the tumblers and you're locked. Now, if you want to lock your bag to a fixed object, same process, put the lock through the grommets. Today we'll lock it to the strapinator. Run your strap through whatever it is you're locking it to, leading with the metal o-ring, place the o-ring through the shackle, and again, secure the lock. Make sure it is on the combination, and then scramble the dials. And there you go, safe and secure. Another option with the flax sack, if you want to lock it really secure so no small items can get out of the top, is to use the multi-loop. And that process is similar to the locking procedure we just went over. Pull out your lock strap until the grommets come through. Take your lock. Now I like to start this way through the top. With the shackle hanging down like that, put it through one grommet, through the other grommet, and loop it over the top. Now take your multi-loop and loop it down and through the lock shackle. The loop is through the lock shackle. Replace the lock, turn the dial, and there you go. 